Okay, here we have three inequalities starting with A. We're going to look at each of these separately. Just a little box around it to show that any of these could be right, or all of them could be right. So we have 5 thirds x is less than x. Is there any way that we can plug in a negative value for x and a positive value? and make it so that this is valid, that 5 thirds x is less than x. Well, think about a positive value for x. Any positive value we put in here, 1 half, 2, doesn't matter. We're basically, we're multiplying it by 5 thirds, which is almost the same as multiplying it by 2. So there's no way by plugging in any positive value that we'll be able to get an instance where 5 thirds x is less than x. So we can get rid of it. Answer choice A. Answer choice B. x to the cubed is less than x. This is exactly the case when one of two things happens. Well, when we have a fraction between 0 and 1, such as 1 half, what happens? Well, we get 1 eighth is less than 1 half. And that is correct. 1 eighth is less than 1 half. Now, if you plug in a value less than negative 1, such as negative 2, negative 2 cubed versus negative 2, you see that indeed negative 8 is less than negative 2. So we found both a positive and a negative value for x where this equation or this inequality holds true. And so b works. Finally, for c, we have here x minus, let me just put my little box there. There you go. x minus 6 is less than x minus 7. So for any positive integer x, you're basically taking away less on this side, on the left side, than you are on the right side. So therefore, this side's always going to be smaller if there's a positive value. Notice how this says it's greater than that just doesn't hold true if there's a positive value. So you can get rid of that, and just like that, we have answer choice B.